morning gang um what a night that was it's wednesday today so uh yeah it's a bit windy and rainy last night as you're all probably aware um i was hoping to get a, a good a good kip last night I'm feeling the long days now and i was hoping to get a good good bit of kip it didn't happen got a cough uh leftovers from a, a, a bit of a man flu that kept on giving so uh, yeah, so that, that really said again last night's coffee waking me up during the night. Did get the kip on, and there you go, there you go. Anyway, I'm off to pick up. <coughs> I'm off to pick up Terry, um, and then we're going to get some materials. Um, I think you know what I want to say here is uh, go back to surrounding yourself with the right people. Um, Terry hasn't been with me the full ten years. I've been doing the club thing, but he's certainly been with me uh, the last five amazing just you know real nice fella he gets his head down gets stuck in just <laughs> absolutely everything uh and, you know he's on the same journey as me as is his family his whole family gets involved the dovettes you know uh, amazing to be around them uh we you know we, we together we just do some crazy things create some memories you know memories that you know priceless you know them, them times you know the, the stories you can look back on so they share my passion for, for what we're doing, uh, passion for community and bringing people together and, and, and just, you know, we you know we benefit because, you know, our friends network is just, you know, it's out of the stratosphere really. Um, and that's, that's the payoff for it all, right? Um, a little tip on that, I suppose, would be to, uh, you know, when you're getting into these ventures, like these these little things, there's a lot of there's a lot of graft, a lot of setup. You know that uh, if you've seen any racing going on, um, and generally it's the same people doing it. So uh, you know, like I said the other day, of course you can do it on your own, but you know what a struggle that'll be. So uh, so I would say uh, surround yourself with a team, you know, who are passionate, as passionate as you are about what you're doing, uh, and it really does spread the weight out. And I think it's, it's true in life as well. Surround yourself with the right people from an early age. Uh, I, you know, I don't know who will be watching this, a young or old, but you know, if you're young enough to start making a change, well, you're never too too old to make the changes, right? But surround yourself with the right people. You know, you surround yourself with uh, wrong ones. Chances are that wrongness is going to rub off on you. Surround yourself with uh, doers. Nice people, loving people, good people, you know, it's the same chances is all that's going to rub off on you also. So uh, that's a little one for the kids there, just surround yourself with the right people. But getting back to FPV and the track and what we're trying to do here, I've surrounded myself with a team. Um, I feel bulletproof with that team. I've, I've, you know, I generally feel, you know, if we've got a plan together, we can push forward and achieve it. And uh, that makes all the difference to a project like this. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to pick Terry up in a minute and uh, we'll do some video uh, of the structure once it's up. We're going to put it all up, pile it out, all the holes for all the bolts, because we're going to bolt it to the steel frame. And, uh, you know, three piggies, it's bolted down, it's not having blown away. And uh, we'll put it all together and I'll show you some, uh, some footage of that later. Anyway, have a great day. It's, it's, it's a nice day. I don't think it's going to rain, but, you know, yeah, I've said it now, haven't I? Anyway, have a nice day. Hi gang, alright, long days, long days, right. Get your, get your motor, get your van, sign written. Let people know it's coming. It's, it's gotta be the way to go. It's worth the money. Now, just to fill you in on the progress so far, with some of that, some of this, some use of that, and them, and Using them a bit, and that, and and a couple of these, <laughs> we've uh, we've built this, and this is uh, the the carcass of the uh, the pilot up. Just show you around there. Yeah, it's been it's been quite a task. We've gone for a steel bay. Farmer um, has given them us the metal for the for the steel base. Saved us a bit of money, albeit has caused us a bit of aggro because it's not really our bag. But hey, you know, this, like I said the other day, it's about creating a friendship with landowner as well. So uh, anyway, let me show you around. So we're going to have a door. This is going to be the main. This is going to be the main lockable door. This is going to have all locks on it, and we're going to go in. And this is going to open up here. Uh, we got the money we have saved um, on the on the base. 
means we can go for a swanky tin plastic coated roof, which will look pretty nice. Um, what's going to happen here is obviously you've got a uh, you've got a big opening here where the pilots are going to be looking out. Now we've we've given it some we've given it some thought. And now we're going to do this. I mean, what, what are you going to do with that? Put a, put garage doors on there. Put a patio doors on there. Nah, no, nah, we're not doing none of that. What we're doing, we're putting four individual metre wide door blanks in here. Each one of these door blanks is going to open up, creating little pockets, little pods, if you like, for the pilots to sit in. Then back here, we're going to have like a workbench. Um, probably here's going to go to t -earn. We're going to have electric along here. Uh, we're also going to have option because obviously, obviously we're hoping to be busy. We're hoping to put on big events. Uh, we've seen other big events. We've seen they're using multiple marquees and stuff like that. We have got you know plans ahead to extend out the back to make more room for pilots to be doing fixing stuff. So this will be the hub. Pilots come up, they get rid of the air. They'll have you know they'll have their spotter behind them, so to speak. Um, how we're going to work that? I don't know. Don't know yet, but you know we'll work on that one when it comes up. And then, uh, yeah, then they'll move out, and the next pilots will come in. When we're just practicing, playing about, then obviously the pilots can come up, take their turns each, get their batteries all charged. Along here, I think it's just started raining again. So let, oh, let me show you. Let me show you something here. This is. Have I mentioned? Have I mentioned <laughs> Terry? We've got. I think we've got a bit of a bus. We got. We got. I mean, look at that. Um, I said the landowner was a bit of a brick and he's just got this page idea that he's going to reach it up to, to the, the engine that goes with them wheels and, and we've drilled some holes for him, he's going to lift it <laughs> and I suppose we better record that to see how that goes. Cause, uh, <laughs> what we are going to do though, we've only tacked it all together so we just make sure everything works, everything fits where we wanted it to fit uh, and then what we've drilled out into the bottom so we can put coach bolts in. We've drilled out on the side so coach screws can go on the side. The roof's pretty much ready, the plane, the timber to go on top of that, and then the, the sheets can go on and it'll be a nice plane all the way down. Then what we're going to do tomorrow morning, we've got a few extra bodies coming, we're going to take this down, this is going to lie down, this is going to lie down. These two ends are going to come in, we're going to strap it to the base, <laughs> and at that point, Spoke we're, we're going to hold our breath <laughs> while our crazy farmer drags this up to where the track's going to be so watch out we'll see how that goes thanks for joining us